Good morning, Moreland. Happy Friday, March 24th, 2023. It is the day two on the day cycle calendar. Happy Friday. We made it to Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you had a fantastic week. I hope you had a great day today. And if you got a chance to go out to uh, the bowling night last night, I hope you had a, a fun time at bowling. I was unable to attend last night. Um, something came up at home and I had to to, to dad at home, if you will. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry I missed it, but I hope you had a great time. All of that being said, it's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start our day on a positive note and start our weekend um, feeling good about all we did today at school. On this 24th, there are no birthdays, but on Sunday, the 26th, I would like to wish Jasmine Dominguez and Zay, no, uh, Zay's birthday is on the 27th, I apologize. Grayson Kuhn and Jasmine Dominguez, both kindergartners, happy birthday on Sunday. So if you see Grayson or Jasmine around, be sure to wish them a happy, happy birthday on Sunday. And Zaid, I will get to you on Monday. Today's breakfast is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal bar. Uh, today's lunch is the deep dish cheese pizza and the alternate is the cheese stuffed breadsticks. The big idea is forgiveness. To forgive is to say, I did not like or appreciate your words or actions but I'm willing to let it go because it does not help me to hold on to those feelings. When we are upset, pretend that there is a balloon tied to you by an imaginary string. When we are ready to let go of the feelings, hand over pretend scissors to cut the string and release the feelings inside the balloon. Imagine the balloon sailing high into the sky. When ready, imagine that the balloon pops, spreading a dusting of love, forgiveness, and compassion to both parties. We can use this visualization to help us practice forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. What a great visualization of forgiveness for this Friday. You know, it is, it is the process of that, that balloon when you forgive somebody, that spreading of love, the kindness, compassion. Um, that is, that's, a, that's a process that takes time. That is effort to do that. You have to be conscious and intentional about forgiving someone. You have to make sure that you are choosing forgiveness. That's a choice you have to make. And that process is our word of the week, reconcile. You do have to sometimes reconcile your differences. In order to let that balloon go into the air, you have to choose, you know what? It's not worth it. You know, I'm going to compromise. The other person's going to compromise and we're just going to let it go. That's reconciliation. That's forgiveness. I challenge you to sh practice being forgiving. I, I and challenge you to practice showing reconciliation. And as always, I encourage you to use the word reconcile in your conversations. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Work hard, show kindness and love to one another. And here's to an awesome Friday and a wonderful weekend ahead of us. Let's stand and say our Moreland mantra together. I am kind, I am capable, I am valued, we are one. Remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, Moreland.